Everybody, Derek Ting here. So I'm in the States and I'm traveling a lot and I tend to order stuff on Amazon or different websites while I'm here. Um, it's just much more convenient to shop online. And one of the things I've recently picked up is the RAV Power um, 61 watt power adapter, which um, is recently out and it's a USB-C type plug. Uh, you know, I was searching for um, something so that I wouldn't have to unplug my power adapter for my MacBook Pro at home all the time if I'm taking my laptop out. So I leave my power adapter at home and then uh, I have a portable charger for my laptop in my backpack ready to go. Um, so I have a MacBook Pro 15 inch and um, you know, I was uh, wasn't sure if the um, power adapter was going to accommodate because that one's an 85 watt uh, power adapter. I read stuff online that it would just charge slowly and um, you know I'm happy to tell you that it does um, charge um, reasonably. Um, and then also though, but if you have a MacBook Pro 13 inch or MacBook Air, this is going to definitely work well for you because those are 61 watts um, and below. Uh, generally like iPad Pros are about 30 watts and it goes from there. You know, if you, so if you have a MacBook Pro or any kind of um, power computer that's charged by USB-C, um, you're going to need at least 60 watts or greater. Um, yeah, I was curious because online it showed that it was about 50% smaller than in a power adapter and um, I'm happy to report it's really compact and light. Um, I'm going to show you some close-ups. So this is the 13 inch. Um, MacBook power adapter which is also about 60 watts and you can see um, the difference in size. If you look at the uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch power adapter, wow that's even um, smaller. And if I compare the weight, it's like this one definitely feels chunky and this feels very light. So I was quite surprised um, what it was going to be like. And um, the two prongs are pretty, like, they're pretty stable. They don't, you know, um, mine has um, kind of like deteriorated. It just feels kind of flimsy. Um, and so I think it's because it doesn't have um, like uh, the two, like if I compare it, like the two white parts, um, pieces of plastic that kind of wedge them in. It doesn't have that, it's just pretty much wedged in. Now, I do want to talk about the fact that since this is a good travel charger, if you're traveling within the States or any kind of um, place that uses the two-prong adapter, but once you go um, abroad and then maybe using a three-prong, like, you know, I'm usually in Hong Kong, then, um, then this is going to get much more bulky, especially because um, it doesn't, it doesn't have um, interchangeable uh, adapters. So you're gonna have to stick on um, like a, a three-prong adapter on top of this or a universal uh, travel adapter to make this accommodate. So um, I haven't searched online for let's say a Hong Kong one. I'm going to, um, but first I wanna try this out and then share my knowledge here with you. Um, so what I've done is I bought this USB-C to lightning um, adapter, I can use this for my iPad and my phone um, and it actually charges it faster. And uh, it plugs nicely into this um, charger and I can charge my phone no problem. Um, that, that connects really well. And um, uh, you know, but what, what, I would, I, what I would recommend is so what I've done, I bought this Syntec USB-C to USB adapter, a normal USB adapter, and plugs right into the USB-C adapter right here. Um, right there, and then you got a USB-C to lightning adapter, and that goes like this. Um, 